Starting today, you must start showing proof that you're actually looking for a job to get unemployment benefits in North Carolina. Fox 46's Jamal Goss is live to explain more on the requirements that have been reinstated after being put on hold during the pandemic. Jamal. Yeah, that's right. Right now, people collecting unemployment benefits will have to prove they're applying for at least three jobs a week. And some people agree with that, but say it will take more effort from the state and business owners before they can take down their now hiring signs. The rules have been reinstated for people looking for a job. They're now required to show proof that they're searching for one. That's a good idea. Yeah, that's a very good idea. Roy Belk agrees with the decision put in place by Governor Roy Cooper. He says he realizes the difficulties with finding a job right now and hopes the system is not being abused. If you can draw on the plummet, it helps you if you really need, but you shouldn't take advantage of the situation. Some people don't want to work. They want to try to get it either way out. What I want to see us do is to get rid of any excuse for folks not to go back to work. Right now, efforts to get people off unemployment are underway at the state house. Senators passed a bill that would give people who are unemployed up to $1,500 for securing a new job. A $1,500 signing bonus would be given for accepting reemployment before June 1st and $800 to those employed before the 1st of July. Right now, the bill still has to make its way through the house where it's expected to be discussed this week. You're not going to get anybody to work for $725. And Having people apply to jobs is one thing. That doesn't mean they have to take the job. Jeff Heiner says the efforts need to expand a little more. He says business owners and the state will have to raise their wages if they want to get people back to work. Right now, the minimum wage is $7.25 an hour. Companies like McDonald's, KFC, and Amazon have raised their wages or added perks as things get back to normal. Meantime, more than 245,000 people are still collecting benefits in the state, along with the extra $300 in benefits from the federal government. Like even Target now hires for like $15 an hour for a cash year so if everybody could pay that it would make a lot more sense and if your business model is structured around your employees only making that much money then your business model sucks fix it now, the governor says unemployment benefits have been a critical lifeline for North Carolinians during the pandemic, but the state wants people to stay connected to employers, tools, and resources that can help with that. You can go to ncworks.gov to set up an, an account and also apply for jobs. Reporting live tonight in Charlotte, I'm Jamal Goss, Fox 46.